Welcome back to another 7.3 video. So this one here is 7.3.3 and it's the final path for my exploration. Uh, this one is the rising star is the rising sun, the stage fright uh, path. So this one you just need to make sure that you are landing heavy attacks after so many hits because as you can see there, each hit gives you a fury. And after so many of them furies build up and all disappear you get a an active degen on you so dr doom is quite good for this just because you can always guarantee the stun after when you put a shock on uh, there's the under pressure node on here as well as you can see there which was when i did the parry it then puts a disorientate on me uh, so yeah you've just got to watch parries watch your uh, your combos uh, it's just from around here i think it is I'm not really paying attention and as you can see here in a second I get loads of furies on me and I start degen in and the degen starts hitting quite hard <laughs> so yeah it's, it's something you need to be careful of but Drax isn't a hard fight it kind of warms you up quite nicely into the path so uh, yeah I'll, uh, I'll shut up and uh, let, you, let you finish watching this Drax fight So yeah, a couple minutes later, that's that Drax fight done, and we're gonna go into this Jabari Pan for now. Uh, I think it's like 360k health. Yeah, so I'll bring in Apocalypse. I know shock. Um, again, and the plan here is to just kind of um, nuke her down with Apocalypse. There's not many champions that I really trust to do Jabari Pan for at the minute. Her cleanse mechanic is, in my opinion, probably one of the most broken things in the game that we've seen uh, for a little while. Um, bear in mind, you know, you can't get, you can't sort of stop it in any way. Um, but no doubt, it's very, very soon that uh, Kabam will be releasing what can only imagine will be a very, very so solid counter to this cleanse. just to try and combat it. So as you can see here from the, the node, I'm getting so much power in Apocalypse. I choose to throw this special free to obviously get rid of the power for the first instance, but also to lock in the debuffs and double the potency. As you can see there, the ones that are there now are there indefinitely and it doubles the debuffs. Um, doubles the potency, sorry. There was a weird interaction, I, I've not done it before, but now at least I know I can. So when she's throwing a special one, you can do like a light attack to get a little bit closer. And yeah, from this special one here, Jabari goes down. So probably and arguably one of the 
the worst fights on this path is now done. And then we're gonna go claim a subjective reward. And we're gonna go into this group. So this here will be a Doctor Doom fight. Uh, I'm not gonna use a, a health potion or anything. I should be still pretty safe on this. I've learned the nodes and the combination and what happens now. The other thing you have to remember on crew is as you've just seen already, that the the shock and any debuffs expire very, very quickly. And just to well, in my opinion, I only ever want to bait special ones. I don't ever want to be baiting a special two from them. And yeah, it's kind of just rinse and repeat the whole way through. If I'm going to throw the special three, I want to make sure that I've got all the... Um, I've got no Furies on me at the time, so it can do more damage. But yeah, these fights just take a few minutes just because you're playing around, no combinations. So as you can see here, I've been mixing up uh, the combos and doing all the different stuff to try and make sure that I can uh, keep on top of it all. It'd be nice if this uh, disorientate would have been a, uh, a normal debuff so that we could have got some slight willpower off it, but oh uh, well, these, uh, these things happen. The positive about bringing Apocalypse in is that you can go disorientate immune. So that you don't need to worry about the whole parrying anymore. But yeah, I, I feel like with these placements of Groot and King Groot was later on in this path. Kabam may have known um, what they were doing and the, the main attackers that people probably would have used for this path. Just to make it probably one of the longest, I think it's like 20 odd minutes, I think, altogether to do the path. Well, that does include a few mess ups and stuff, so you probably could do it in under 20, and even less if you were boosted in any way. But yeah, this uh, this group's just gonna go down. I think this Moleman might be arguably one of the quickest in terms of the uh, the path itself. Because with Apocalypse, you, you're guaranteed the stun. 
I'm not worried about either of his special attacks. I'm confident, like, baiting and dexing either of them. So I don't need to be worried. I just need to be worried about that Rising Sun Furies. So as you can see, the heavy attack there, that cleared them off. Reset all the debuffs that were on. Moment 2. And yeah, I'm going to go in a second for the special one to put all four debuffs on. I've got a few Furies now, I just don't hit into Mole Man's block. That's about the only thing to, to take note of and make sure you don't do. Take the special one here. And here I refresh the Furies and then throw the special three. So as you can see from the special three from Apocalypse, even though these champs have really, really high health pools, the, uh, the amount of damage it's still doing is crazy. It's, it's a good like 10 to 12% of, what, 400k HP. And then these buff, uh, debuffs are now indefinite, so I'm literally only refreshing the heavy attacks just to get rid of any Furies that I have on me, and just for a mess around. I think if I remember right here, I just start dancing around. So oh, it's okay, Mole Man's going down to all the uh, debuffs, I'm just going to kind of mess around and have a laugh. And yeah, so that's the, I believe that's the fourth fight of the path done, so there's just two left. Uh, the next one is the cosmic, new cosmic beast, King Groot himself. This fight, just like the other group, uh, I'm not going to heal up for. Should be pretty easy. Spoiler alert. I mess up, so obviously it wasn't that easy. Uh, Doctor Doom did end up dying here. Um, but, yeah, the, the main thing to worry about is just that, obviously, it shrugs off your debuffs. and so that's, That might affect your damage output in some way. Uh, and yeah, so again, I only try and ever bait out King Group special ones. If I have to push into special two, I will, but then it's just taking hits on the block. And I've not really got enough health with Dr. Doom right now to be uh, playing around with that sort of stuff. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll shut up until something interesting actually happens in this fight. It's just a long, sort of tedious uh, fight just to get through. Uh, just here, I can't really remember exactly what happened now. Uh, I, I got distracted and dashed back and bang. Yeah, King Groot killed me. Yeah, uh, the, the tank that he is. So I just choose to use Apocalypse on this. And just try and run through it and put the poisons, the weaknesses and everything else on. And just get the fight sort of done. So with Apocalypse, he can't shrug them off because of the uh, tenacity reduction in the Paco's kit. So that's quite nice. And yeah, again, it's just going to be another one of these fights. Now I'm going to try and throw a special two at some point. Just to put even more debuffs on them and get more damage over time going. So refresh the debuffs there. And we just go again. Obviously these two are both like extra large champions on the screen. So it's not we see it even like one of the biggest champs in King Group just gets absolutely dwarfed by Apocalypse. I didn't quite realise how badly until I was in this fight. And I was like, oh yeah, look at that. 
But here we go again, another special for you, Apocalypse. And the fight's pretty much coming to an end. So finally here, we're coming into the last fight. Uh, I messed up here. I was meant to bring the five star Archangel because it's duped, but it shows you just how, uh, how good Archangel can still be even unduped, I guess, on this one here. So this is just my rank two unduped Archangel. Um, Archangel has the ability accuracy reduction uh, with like, preventative methods, so even against Magneto, you can't prevent the ability accuracy being reduced on Archangel's base kit himself. Um, but nodes can still affect Archangel, so it's just something to watch out for. But basically, I just want to put the neurotoxins on for this fight. And as you can see here, just like the damage, just kind of go through and do it exactly. Uh, we need to do the, the bleeds aren't going to do much because red magneto is 90% bleed resistant but the poisons and the neurotoxins together will still do a lot again just want to bait special ones here i don't really want to push into special two at all and just kind of go through the fight like that but yeah i'll let you uh, carry on watching the video and watch how i do it with archangel but apart from that it's uh, yeah it's not the worst path and that's going to be me and my talking for the video done.